Let's uh, take you to Zambia this time. Now, soon after losing the August 12th election uh, in the country of Zambia, the former president, Edgar Lungu, uh, wrote uh, to cabinet uh, office uh, officially indicating that he had retired from active politics and uh, uh, which uh, prompted government to effect a uh, payment of his benefits, uh, starting with renting a house for him. Now, before the announcement, Edgar Lungu held sway as the president of the Patriotic Front and uh, the party was now uh, has now picked a vice president who is none other than Given Lubinda. Now, Given Lubinda, who has been acting for now as a Lu in the Lungu vacate office, but joining us is Lydia McKenna, who will be throwing more light on this story as it develops. Many thanks for joining the program, um, Lydia McKenna. Can you tell us really how this is all playing out Give, um, now that we know that Given Lubinda is acting as a president for the Patriotic Front? After losing the the general election at the Patriotic Front has been facing a lot of challenges. And uh, as a citizen of Zambia, we have been eager to uh, find out who will be the uh, uh, party president. And uh, we knowing that uh, Mr. the former president, Edgar Changwalungu, ha he, he was debating whether he will still be the pre president of uh, Patriotic Front or he will retire from politics. And that has been a, a question for each and every Zambia citizen. Now, uh, I mean, I'm openly appointing uh, Mr. Given Lovida as the party uh, acting president is something that is a relief for a citizen, but we are yet to find out. Is he going to, you know, Mr. Edgar Chabalugo, is he going to come back as party president or he has retired uh, for for good? And uh, well, we see other, uh, you know, members of parliament that were uh, elected elect in this. Um, they are facing a lot of challenges with uh, other corruption issues and the uh, other challenges of uh, other party members leaving the patriotic front and joining the UPND. So the patriotic front as of now is a party that is being, uh, we can say it's shaking and it's also getting strong because uh, the, the real party members are still sticking to, to the party, but we, we are still seeing some drama in it. But the real question is, is Edgar Changwalungu uh, really... Uh, going uh, for good, leaving the party, or is still coming in? Because we're still seeing uh, Given Luminda as the acting uh, party president. He is not really the party president, but he's just acting as was uh, formally uh, appointed as, as such. So we are still eager to find out whether Ed Betemolongo is coming back for his position or he is uh, he has given up uh, completely. All right, Lydia. Now, on the other hand, we've seen the Republican vice president, W.E.K. Mutawale Nalumango, in the parliament, he was giving his own two cents and he was saying that the former president, Egolungu, he might risk losing his benefit if he continues playing an active role in politics. Could this really be the reason why the committee chose for uh, chose that he should step down or he chose it himself to step down? Could it be based on that? Well, the, the constitution of Zambia says that because if he is to continue to be in politics or if he is to be, continue to be the party president, he might lose every uh, beneficiary that, uh, you know, the government needs to be given to him. Now, with that, we have been always, as I said earlier, we have been waiting to hear from his final say whether he is giving up on politics or he still wants to carry on and run this race because they need to decide and time is not with them. So this is why the, the vice president, Mdale Nalumango, has come in, in openly said in parliament to say he needs to decide and, you know, or tell the nation what his next step is. And after that sentence, we have seen that actually there have been a, a, an improved step because he has now appointed Given Lumid as the acting president. So indeed, if he does not really tell the nation what his next step is, he might lose all the beneficiary that the government uh, has been given to him. And as well as, so we don't know whether this appointment by Mr. Given Lumid is a pressure given to Mr. Edgar Changwalungu that he may lose uh, the beneficiary from the government or it is something willingly that he has chosen uh, given as the party, uh, as the vice, you know, as the acting president to run the party. So we are still waiting, as I said, for the decision. And we don't know the decision has come in because of pressure or it's just something that they have concluded in doing that. Well, well, the uh, Patriotic Front, they have, they have lots of time until the next election, but for now it's Hakainde Hichelema uh, who's in charge and his party. So we'll see how it all goes for uh, uh, Lubinda and perhaps also for Edgar Lungu out there. But thank you so much, uh, uh, Zambian correspondent Lida Makina, for coming this morning on Breakfast Central. <music>